After weeks of taking heat from local rescue groups, Central California SPCA board members are firing back, defending their decision to force rescues to sign contracts and keep the public out of their meetings. Good evening. I'm Anna Laurel. And I'm Monty Torres. Thank you for joining us. So why doesn't the public have the right to know what goes on inside those SPCA board meetings? To find out, KMPH News reporter Ashley Ritchie tracked down board members today on their way into one of those monthly meetings and put the question to them. Inside the SBCA parking lot Tuesday, board members arrived for their monthly meeting. John Breckman is board president and says the $3 million they get from the city and county isn't taxpayer money. That's a contract. It, you, I mean, I go out there on Willow Avenue and you talk to the contractor the building the road. Mm -hmm. Are they going to let them into their meetings? But the money comes from taxpayers, Who right? Who cares? It's a contract. Why you guys aren't allowing people into the board meetings? Well, do you at uh, at your uh, local TV station? Do you mm -hmm. allow people into your board meetings? Well, we're not you, funded by taxpayer dollars. We're not either. We're a private contractor that submits a bid every year, and we are awarded that bid. Board members tell me the decision to force contracts onto rescues is strictly business. We do not want to lose our status, right? Status meaning 501c3. Mm -hmm. We are a nonprofit. If we lose that, we're dead. These people have to do the same thing. But most of the rescues that didn't sign the contract, like ARF here or Animal Rescue of Fresno, are 501c3s. And the refusal to allow places like this to rescue animals from the shelter is being noticed more and more by local politicians. But certainly uh, having the rescue community be a part of rescuing animals and keeping them from, from being uh, euthanized at the SPCA, I think that's a win for everybody. Fresno County Supervisor Henry Perea tells me he's concerned. If I were them, I'd be very interested in talking to the, the supervisors and to the city council. Uh, you know, I mean, when, when we're the major contributors of the funds that go into that organization, uh, yeah, they should be talking to no, us. There's and, no uh, elected officials on this board as far as there the city. There never will be. You're saying it'll never happen? No. Breckman admits without all the rescues on board, more animals will likely be killed. That's a possibility for a short time. What's the, then what's the well, solution? How is that <laughs> in the, the best public. interest of the public animals? Gotta, if, the if public you, has got to take care of their animals. We can't do that for them. So you guys, you, you know that less animals are going to make it out of here alive without these rescues coming for and saving them. Time, yes. But he insists the board cares about each and every dog and cat that comes through here. I've been on and off this board for 50 years. Do you think I hate animals? Reporting in Fresno, Ashley Ritchie, KMPH News. Now, Perea also tells KMPH News he wants to get both sides together to talk and come up with some kind of common ground. The SPCA's contract with the city is up for renewal this June.